Do you use Gmail? Then this week's episode is just for you. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Evernote. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to show you the new add-on that Evernote has just released for Gmail and it is a fantastic add-on particularly for those of you who like to send emails to Evernote this is going to save you a lot of time and one of the best things about this add-on is once you've added it to your Gmail account it will be available through your iOS and Android phones as well. It is brilliant and I've been playing around with it this week and I really do want to thank the team at Evernote for such a wonderful add-on. And that's something I really love about Evernote and they have been like this for many years now is when they do release something, it is usually very, very good. So I'm going to take you into Evernote now to show you that. If you do get any value from this and if this video really does help you to improve your workflow, then I would really appreciate it if you would hit that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, oh, please, please subscribe. OK, let's go into Gmail and I'll show you how to add this add on. OK, so here we are in my Gmail interface for my personal account, my, my productivity business account. And as you can see, I have one email and I had to send that email to myself because I operate a system of inbox zero, as most of you know. So I don't usually have anything in my inbox. I know you are all so jealous and it's actually quite simple to do, but that's for a different video altogether. Okay, what you'll notice down here in this bottom corner, you've got this wonderful Evernote icon and that means I have got the plugin or actually it's called an add-on, not the plugin or an extension. I'll come to that in a moment. So essentially what it means I can do is when I open up this email, so I've got Hi Carl, here's a test email you can send. So all I have to do now is click on my little Evernote icon and it's going to bring up a nice little sidebar here on the right and it's going to say do I want to save this to my default notebook and as you know my default notebook is set up as my inbox so all I have to do is click save but I can say uh, I can add a note here I can sort of say uh, need to act on this ASAP and I'm going to hit save it's going to go way off over to my Evernote account and there you go it has gone it's saved so I can close that out now we'll come to that in a moment in my Evernote account but what I want to do is how do you get this right well the problem that you have is if you go into your settings from your inbox or if you go to the uh, the, the Gmail uh, store so we can go to the web store what you'll find is if you type in Evernote here uh, what you'll get only is some basically the Evernote Clipper which is that's it everything else is third-party stuff it's not the Gmail so what we have to do is we have to go somewhere else now what you do is you can click on the actual icon here where it says settings you just set there you hit on that settings and it will ask get add-ons so click the add-ons button to get the add-ons and what you can do and now is if you search Evernote so we search Evernote and it will bring up Evernote for Gmail. That is what you want, the Evernote for Gmail add-on. Now, I've obviously, I've already installed it. What you need to do is click on that and install it in your Gmail. So that is really easy to do. But much more importantly is once you've added it to your account, this is what you get in your iPhone. And as you can see on the iPhone or on your Android device, if you're using an Android device, you will see down at the bottom right here, add to Evernote. So it automatically crosses over to the Gmail app. So if you're using the Gmail app on your mobile phone, you can actually have it added. It will automatically add to the Gmail app on your phone as long as you are obviously logged into the right account. 
Okay, so let's go and have a look at uh, Evernote and show you what it looks like in Evernote. So I need to open up my Evernote because I haven't opened it up today. <gasps> Terrible. <laughs> I always add my Evernote. So let's have a look in my inbox here. And there we go. It's come in to my Evernote account. And as you can see, that's it. It's come in and it's nice and clean. And as I say, as I've shown before in the email, you can clean it up before you send it. But I think that is absolutely fantastic. It says send this to Evernote and it's already open. So it comes in with the title of the email, the title of my email. If you look here, send this to Evernote uh, is already there. So it comes in with the title and need to act on it SAP. So my note comes up at the top. It's nicely configured with the lines beautiful thank you evernote and thank you google for allowing it allowing evernote to input that one so there you go hopefully now you've got a pretty good idea of how to set that up if you have any difficulties with that just please leave a note in the notes section below and i'll be more than happy to answer your questions but that's essentially it just remember that you're not going to find that extension or that add-on if you go into the main gmail uh, app store or web store what you need to do is you need to go open the email and then you add on from the settings get add-ons click on that and get it installed into your into your mail now the thing is remember it's going to be showing up in here and uh, if I click on my three dots I don't know why it's disappeared but that's where it will show up you'll get the Evernote icon in there there you go my Evernote icon is there and then you can just click on that when you want to send an email to your Evernote there you go nice and simple well thank you very much for watching this episode of working with evernote it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week thank you for watching this video now if you want to take your productivity to a higher level then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of your digital life 2.0 online it is a complete, comprehensive productivity and time management course. And it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize, and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure, how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything. And not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book. You also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, the 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.